Okay, hi and welcome to a interesting, no it's not very interesting, but it's a tutorial on how to do fixed pixelation. Um, this is basically what we're going to be doing. Yeah, I could have got your flipping 9 milli. What do you mean, bro? This was special, blood. So you think you're on a mission now, is it? But I found that gun, blood. Alright, it. So, yeah, as you can see, very riveting there. Uh, basically, our guy here is like, um, I don't know what he's doing there, but... I mean, you can imagine he's some sort of like undercover cop or something. And these two guys here, well, phew, he's dead. Anyway, to do that effect, it's really, really basic and very easy to do. So, let's start from scratch. Right, bring in our footage, deep undercover. Um, yeah, okay. And bring this into a new composition. Okay. So what we want to do is basically pixelate this guy's face. This guy. As you can see, I'm running with interlaced footage, hence the lines. He looks quite. Yeah. Anyway, so we want to basically pixel out his face. So the first thing we do is duplicate the footage. So Control D. Okay. And now we've got the footage, we can start working. So basically, we want to apply an effect to the top layer. So we'll apply a pixelation effect basically. So to do this we go to stylize and mosaic. Now what this essentially does is give you a mosaic piece of footage which was running over the top but it's only affecting the top layer. So what we need to do now is basically use this layer on top but then cut around our person's face here. So what we can do now is just basically choose how many pixels we want something like that and then basically shut the top layer off now what we want to do is frame by frame use the pen tool and then draw around the guy's face and the good thing about this is you don't have to be perfect it doesn't matter if it doesn't fill the whole frame because we're only going around his head and it doesn't have to be perfect, of course. And you don't have to keyframe every frame. Now this is a uh, this is a like a ten second shot, and I can do this effect in about two or three minutes. So I'll just show you quickly how to do it. So basically, just start drawing around his head. Okay, I'll do it very roughly. You can take your time with this. And now we've got our first mask. So press uh, M to bring it to mask path and keyframe. And now we move forward. A second, <coughs> and now we just move this. As you see, it will now move along, and we can also, you know, make any adjustments anywhere you want. And now we just move it again, move it again, And as you can see, that that is very fairly good. It's uh, it's very rough. It's very quick. It's not um, it's not perfect. It's not going to be your uh, your favorite bit of work um, compared to everything else. But you know, it's it's just rough for now. So basically, that's the rough idea. Okay. And now you've got that. If you turn the top layer back on, you now have a pixelated image. See, it's magic. It's like, it's like Christmas has come early, you know. So um, that is basically it. And of course, if you want to make the edges less rough or you want to mess around, if you just press F, bring up the feathering options, you can then, you know, mess around with the feathering. But of course, the more you do it, it will just eventually disappear, making this whole thing useless. Um, and that is basically it. Um, also bear in mind, if you're duplicating layers, your audio will also be duplicated. So that's why you have to make sure you turn off the audio on the top layer, otherwise your audio will just double up on render, and then you'll have very distorted audio. Anyway, that's basically it. Um, and as you can see, I'll just play it for you, because I know you're all interested to see this again. Yeah, I could have got your flipping 9 milli. What do you mean, blood? This was special, blood. So you think you're on a mission now, is it? But I found that gun, blood. Alright, dick. 
be a cut down. Award winning. Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you very much. Bye. Like, bye and subscribe if you want to. I mean, I'm not saying you have to, but you know, it would be nice.